Gentlemen, I am currently overloaded by a feeling of sheer euphoria to have you here on my YouTube channel on this fine day. And today we present you yet another challenge. So my morning was all coming along just fine and dandy. I had my cup of coffee, sat down in my office and then... I saw Leo Gillum all up in my comment section going circle around the web with a sprung blip without getting blown up lol and who am I to ignore every whimsical desire of my viewers so Leo Gillham this one's for you my brother man to the planning wall So here's the deal, we have acquired a glorious sprung branded blimp and we'll take it upon ourselves to circle the entire map of GTA Online. Now obviously this enormous blimp is just an undeniable thick snack to shoot down. So the question is, can you circle the entire map of GTA Online without dying? And obviously as always, a near enough full lobby, no passive mode, no help, all that good jazz, oh boy. Now in order to make this a bit more interesting, we'd have to stay on or at least very near, near the highways and the same goes for the city we will never stray away from civilization too far ladies and the gentlemen if you like what we are doing make sure to look to your left grab the first object you see and smash that into the like and or subscribe button and be sure to let everyone know in the comments what that object was all right let's begin this damn shit show Attempt number one. We arrived at LSIA to pick up the glorious looking sprung blimp and the first course of action was to get Dave right on top of this thing for scientific reasons. Once that was all settled, it was time to start our journey. I felt super confident about this one. We just breezed by the beach, we flew past Del Piero Beach and we were hitting the highway without seeing anyone. This was gonna be a massive easy peasy lemon squeezy mode and as we went along on our journey, I saw something in the corner of my eye. A teeny weeny blue dot. Now I'm a very curious creature at heart so it was time for a quick non-sprung stop and after investigating I quickly went back to the blimp. But then I heard the cries of Dave. Somebody's right here, he's gonna steal it. A player showed up out of nowhere attempting to hijack our glorious sprung blimp. I rushed back and tried to beat him to it, but I saw him place a bomb on the blimp. But I must have faith, someone wouldn't dare to blow up something as majestic as this, someone would never ever. Oh. Well, not time number two. You keep giving me shit about my driver, look at the state of the damn car. I don't know what you fucking means. <laughs> Look at the state of this thing. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a couple of scratches they came with the car. We arrived at the blimp and it was time to captain it to circular glory. It was a fine sunset, clear skies and nothing but the Luxor doing an amateur air show right before our eyes. If ever there was gonna be a winning game, it has to be this one. But one thing would solidify this beautiful night. A quick sprung stop. Shortly after, we are yet again on our way, but up ahead in the distance, ladies and gentlemen, World War III seemed to have broken out in front of us in the middle of the highway, but maybe, just maybe, no one would look up and see this massive blimp flying overhead. That's the dude that killed us last time. Hmm, attempt number three. We picked up our blimp and were greeted by a man twirling down from the heavens above. Get your sprunk hair, fresh sprunk! Surely it must be an angel sent by Rockstar Games, someone to help us and he is dead. We went back to LSIA to start our journey again. Off we went down to the beach and god damn it! Dear God Almighty. We were shot down again by the duo of doom and terror that has twatted our journey for the third time now. Ladies and gentlemen, it was time to assert dominance via clappage of the cheeks. Attempt number four. Picked up the blimp, went to the west coast again, flew over the beach again, but this time Dave spotted the player barreling towards us at high speed. Which way are you flying, goddammit? After that, we got lucky for the first time, and it was a straight breeze past San Kudo, Palito, down the highway, and after such a long travel, it was surely time for a quick sprung stop. 
The sweet sugar is calling upon me. I've longed for a quick sprung stop for over an hour now, and at long last, it was upon me once more. To hell with your sprung stop! <laughs> Hello? <gasps> what? It, it was. It, I didn't think it would kill you. It's fucking. It's this. Ah! Oh! Dick! Treachery must be punished by death. Not time number five. I've grown tired of Dave's bullshit and decided it was time to place him at the wheel and me to enjoy the scenery. And Dave decided it was time to go to the very east side of the map and try our luck that way. And so we ventured forth and I'll be gosh darn not a single player. The adrenaline of this challenge was hitting an all time low so it was time to once again spice things up. At least that's what Dave's idea was and he just kinda dragged me into it. So here I was standing on top of the blimp with nothing but manic laughing noises coming out of the cockpit. <laughs> and I once again met my demise. But revenge was going to be sweet. The blimp took an absolute pounding in the wind farm, and the engines were failing, and Dave was getting slapped around like a ping pong ball. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, oh, the humanity! Time number six, enough screwing around, same shit. Started at LSIA, go east, go north, everything fine, dandy and well, until we made it to Belito Bay. Two players saw the glorious Get thick blimp and believed it was time for a quick nibble. And in a blaze of fire, we came crashing down to the earth once again. Start again. Not time number seven. Seven is my lucky number, and this time we are spicing things up even more. Instead of starting at LSIA, we started at the very tippity top of the map and make our way around this way. But before heading into the city, we must stay clear of the two dickheads who killed us not five minutes ago. And luckily, they were no match for our wits and insane speed. So southbound we were headed and keeping the highway below us. And then we entered Los Santos. It was absolutely jam-packed with players, so instead of playing it safe, we decided to go straight through the heart of the city. So it was time to go to LSIA, and from there, we would go north, right past the casino, and north, north, north. It was eerily quiet. There were players everywhere who could end our very existence in the blink of an eye, but the stillness remained. It was time to assert dominance. I decided to open fire on everyone below us. Only then would they know that we mean business. This sprung blimp is not to be fucked with. And ladies and gentlemen, it seemed to have worked. We broke loose from the grip of Los Santos and so we went onward, straight Arrived. north to Palito Bay. And this was going to be the one. This is the winner right here. Well, I guess one of us actually made it, and the one flying the blimp, nonetheless, and, well, before we end this absolute catastrophe of a video, I will grant you one last glorious fireworks show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos if you enjoyed this one. There's a ton on the channel now, and yes, yeah, subscribe and like and become a member. Yes, become a member like these people. See those names? Hmm? Those names? Those guys are members. They press the join button. Do you want a name on a list like this? Then join. Okay, bye.